Well, now here at 430, drug maker Johnson & Johnson says it had a glitch in a plant that led to millions of doses being ruined. Now joining us live is Dr. Ulysses Wu, infectious disease specialist at Hartford Healthcare. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Now, the big question here, a lot of people wondering, did those vaccines from that bad batch get shipped out so there could be bad doses here at sites in Connecticut or in other parts of the country? So uh, with the vaccines, there's always a lot of quality control that would go into place. So if anything was shipped out that had anything to do with a possible bad batch or bad vaccine, everything is recorded meticulously and should be recalled and would be recalled if that was the case. Okay, so people can be rest assured when they're getting their vaccines here that by the time they arrive here, they will be safe. Absolutely, yes. Uh, we, we should trust in the distribution system at this point, and they're gonna make sure that they dot their I's and cross their T's to make sure that we get the safest vaccine possible. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what goes on into the shipping of these vaccines and what that quality control is by the time they arrive here in Connecticut? I, I wish I could tell you. I, I know I know about the vaccines, but I don't know really the, the front end distribution. But uh, they obviously have to be kept at a certain temperature. Everything is recorded uh, and and logged. And then that is rechecked once it is shipped out. So but I, I, I to be honest with you, I couldn't go into the depths of how exactly it is done. OK, um, with this whole big expansion with the vaccines that started today with people being over 16 allowed to get the vaccine now, um, should people still be of the mindset that they should get whatever vaccine is available and not so much focus on the brand? Absolutely. So what we're doing is we're shifting away from the numbers that the Moderna does this percentage and the, uh, the Janssen does this percentage. The key points for all of the vaccines that is important to know is that it prevents hospitalizations and it, present, it prevents deaths. So the point of that is that we want to take a possibly lethal disease and turn it into the common cold, turn it into something that is very mild, uh, rather than focusing on the percentages at this time. So yes, the best vaccine is the one that is right in front of you, the one that you can get. All right, Dr. Wu from Hartford Healthcare, we appreciate your time today. Thank you so much.